<laughs> this conference will now be recorded. Yeah, thank you for the response, Ma. So let us see that what are the things we have been discussed yesterday. Is there any doubts you have it? So is there everyone who are there in the session have been practiced? So you can type it as yes in the chat box. In case if you have any kind of doubt, please clear it so that we can go ahead for the next topics. Good. So thank you for the responses and uh, happy to see that uh, people have been started to uh, work out. So I think the last class when we were doing it on live, so by sharing the screen of our uh, classmates, so they were able to understand the concepts. So we will do it the same uh, same things in the coming classes also. I'll be sharing the documents and I'll be asking you people to do it on your side. So that it may help you people to understand in a better way. So then I'm going to show it on my screen. So today, who is going to take that initiative? So can let me know that. Yesterday, Abhirami tried it. So is there anyone who can say that you want to try it from your side? So how many of them have been logged into the session through the laptop? So type it as me. And don't hesitate to say that you want, uh, you are just not required. So try to take an initiative and try to learn it as much as possible, as fast as possible. So can I know that how many of them have logged in to the session through the laptop? So at least you can type it as no in case if you are not logged in with laptop. Okay, Sanjana is as logged in through phone. Rashi Mehta, no. Naomi, are you there online? So, Ruchita. Okay, now me says it's phone. Ruchita, are you there online? Okay. Fine. Uh, so let me ask uh, Abhirami. Abhirami, are you there online? I 
अबिरमे और ऑनलाइन या सो कैन यू शेयर योर स्क्रीन इज इट पॉसिबल टू डू दैट और आप यू लॉग इन थ्रू मोबाइल If you are okay, please type it as ready. Okay, okay, fine. It's okay, Abrami. Fine. Ah, uh, we will do one thing. We will do it. Ah, uh, with my ah uh, screen sharing itself. No problem, Abrami. So we will see in the future classes. You might be. Uh, able to do that so i request others also try to get connected through the laptop so that you can be able to do it on your uh, laptop itself on this uh, session so it could be helpful to you so to learn it as fast as possible that's okay so now let us start with the session so let me go to the excel file so in the last class we have been done with uh, till the referencing so i'll just take you once again with the referencing i'll just brush up with the referencing why it is uh, once again i'm repeating it as because it is very important uh, part of uh, learning it uh, for you to get a calculations at a faster way okay so let me uh, give this example it is on 12000 how do you calculate the 5% so you are going to start with the calculation always with the equals to and select the cells instead of using the mouse you can use the arrow keys so on the left hand side if you move it the cursor moves to the 12000 and you can be able to give the symbol which is there on the right hand side in the number section so you can use it star for multiplying so whenever you have a percentage calculation you have to use the multiplication okay now with what we are supposed to uh, multiply so it is with the 5% the discounted value that is a b6 value okay so press enter on this yes sir yeah so we are not able to see your screen oh is that uh, i'll reshare the screen in just a moment okay is that the screen is visible now yes sir okay thank you ma so i'll uh, repeat it once again so with this so we are going to start with the calculation with equals to and uh, select with the cell with what we are supposed to calculate it with the percentage into and select the cell of percentage so either you can be able to select the percentage uh, the cell value which of the cell reference you can give it as b6 or you can be able to type it as manually 5% okay so this i thought of uh, adding it with you people so if i am going to select the cell reference and if i press enter so it will calculate only for that particular cell and if i am going to drag this value so it is going to take you to the next cell value instead of b6 it is going to move to the next cell value so i have to fix this that always it has to get calculated so i have to select this cell and this particular cell reference should be used in all the calculation in all the cells where we are going to drag it okay so what is the shortcut key to bring up the cell reference information so what is the shortcut key to be used in that uh, particular cell where it will show the cell references value it is f2 so press f2 so that it shows the 
content and press F4 to freeze it and press enter and now you can drag it so that it is going to give you the value as per that. So is that clear to everyone? So give me a minute, I'll just be back. sorry for the inconvenience so this is one way how you can be able to give the cell value cell references and you can be able to fix it so freeze it that particular cell value which has to be used for calculation on the selected cell okay so this is one way I, in case if you are going to use only one cell value as a fixed value you can also do it in this way equals to into so when you are going to have only particular value calculation so you can give it as five percent and you can be able to get the same values over here okay so when you have only one cell reference to be used and the calculation if it is a simple calculation either you can use it with a freezing values or you can use it with the percentage wise directly so that the answer it is going to give the same way okay so this is one way then here we are going to see that equals to we are going to select this cell value into this cell value now if i going to select these two values and press enter it gives the cell value correctly only for this particular cell address but when you are going to select it when you are doing a calculation and that selected formula should be applied to all the other cell of the table so when i'm going to drag it to the other cell of the table so it has to give the answer automatically based on its calculations okay so how you can be able to do this so first you should understand that so this cell reference that is the cell address whatever you have it it is a combination of row and column so row it is going to be represented with the numbers and column is represented with alphabet so we have to know that what should be selected as a common factor in this cell values so now if you take it with the 12000 okay so if you see that the calculation should happen on 12000 and 10000 9000 that means it has to calculate the values of that particular column so that means the column values are going to get changed sorry other row values are going to get changed so that is it is going to be b28 the next one if you go into selected it is going to be b29 
so that means the column will be common where the row values are going to get changed 28 29 30 so like that so in that case i am supposed to preset with the column so press f4 and make sure that it is going to be freezed only with the column so that is column b is freezed so it is a common for all the other cell values the same way the next one is so it is c25 so here the common thing over here it is it is going to be the 25th row is common so that is c25 d25 e25 that is there is a change in the columns but there is a common thing is the row the row value is common in this cell reference so now you have to freeze it over here is with the row value that is 25 okay so in the b28 i'm going to freeze it with b column and in the c25 i'm going to freeze it with 25 that is a 25th row i'm going to freeze it and press enter so now you can just drag it on the right hand side so it gives a value on the row wise and if you drag it for the column wise to the downward side so it is going to give the value as per the given references okay so this is how you are going to do the calculation for cell referencing okay hope you people have been understood with this if you have understood please type it as yes good thank you for the responses so the next one is we look up so what do you mean by v v means vertical so that means here you can be able to see there is a table of data so in this here we are supposed to identify certain values okay so here we might be taken with 12 uh, row of values three uh, four uh, columns of data so in this we have to find it the exact value what we are looking for the lookup value so what is that lookup value over here so that is for the employee id number 9831012345 so we are supposed to find it what is the name given for that id so can anyone tell me that do we have this particular employee id number information in this data and let me know what is the name please have a look on the screen and let me know what could be the name of that party related to that employee id Take a minute of time and let me know. So, hope you people are able to see the screen. So if you want i can be able to zoom it so please identify there is an id number 9831012345 for this id number what is the name of that party So the 10th one 
So the tenth one, the name is Swan Trina. Right? Good. Yes. Fine, fine. So now let's see that. So instead of here, we may have only the 12 uh, row of data, but in the real time when you are working for any places, so there will be a pages together with thousand number of data. So in that case, it will be easy for us to apply this. And most of the time, the companies will be looking out the people who have a knowledge on this particular formula or the function we can say. Okay, so we can be able to use it as equals to V lookup. V lookup means vertical lookup because the data, whatever we are going to have it over here is the vertical side and we have to find it out in that vertical data format. So we look up, activate this, and what is the lookup value? So you have to check it out the data related to this employee ID, comma, and select the table array. So table array means the table which has a virginal data. So what was the shortcut key we used to select it? The table completely. Can anyone remember? So to select the data, so either we can use the shift key and right and right arrow or control shift right control shift down so it is going to select the whole data now after selecting that just a moment comma and then table array then comma then it is asking the column index number in the selected data. So the column num, uh, what is the column number for the name column in the selected data? What is the column number for the column number name? Column heading as name. So how many columns have been selected over here? So here we have selected with four columns employee ID name gender age. So in this the name column it is there as a second column. So let me give that second column then comma and here it is asking us to provide the result. Whether do you want to select it as true then either type it as one or you can select it as true. In case if you wanted exactly the value what I wanted, so that is the lookup value, whatever it is, that the same value information I want to get it from the data what I have selected, then you have to select it with false option. That is the indication is zero. For true, it is one. For false it is zero so either you can choose it as false or you can type it as zero and close the bracket and press enter so that it is going to show that the value what was been there in that particular data so in the vertical vertical format data so if you want to find any particular value so that we can call it as a lookup value. So then you can be able to use the VLOOKUP function. So the same thing if I want to do it for the age. So can anyone guide me how we can be able to do it?
Okay. So since you people are not able to use the laptop, it may be difficult to uh, help me out. So let me try with this. So equals to V lookup. Then the lookup value is the employee ID. Then select the table. So control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, then comma, then what is the column number for the age? So here the age it is four, comma zero for the exact match. I'm going to give it as zero and close the bracket and press enter so that you can be able to see that for ops patsy the age it is 21 okay so like this you can be able to find it out the information of particular cell value in the given data so the next thing is let's look up so select the edge lookup so here the data it will be in the horizontal format so whatever the format of data you have it based on that you have to choose it whether you should find it the value in the form of vertical type or in the horizontal type okay so here the data it is in the vertical format so now we are going to find it out the value so equals to edge lookup then what is the lookup value so that is the red comma so from which data so control alt sorry control shift right control shift down so in the selected data comma so which row index you are supposed to find it so here there are three rows one is company name sales and cost so what do you want to find it so here it says as cost so that cost it is there in the row number three so i have to give it as three comma exact match is zero and close the packet and press enter so you can see that for the company name red the cost what it is given is 2800 okay so suppose if i'm going to change this instead of red if i want to make it as black press enter so you can see that the value it is going to get changed as per the data what i am going to enter it is showing as 5786 okay so this is how you can be able to find the values information in the horizontal data format hope you people have been understood with these two types of functions and the next one it is going to be only with the lookup value so either it is there in any format okay so let me choose it the table so here i'm going to take it over here equals to lookup and select the cell value which you want to look in comma then select the lookup vector so that means to which 
column you are supposed to refer it so select with that comma and select with the lookup value array the second table and close it and press enter so you can see that this 122 value is going to be available from the age of 91 to 180 okay so this is how you can be able to find out with the lookup value so i think i've been already shared with all this uh, options or uh, the assignment part so please go through with each and every option the next one is sum if so let me find it out what is the sum if value is equals to sum if and here it is asking for the range so the batman it is going to be available in this data range comma and it is asking what is that you want to find it in this selected range put it in double quotes that i want the details of batman and what is the amount the total amount is related to this batman so that information if you want it you can be able to select the second column data and close the bracket so you can see that related to this batman the total amount what you have it it is 3400 plus 5600 is nothing but 9000 value so this is the sum if value function that is the selected cells total value it is going to show it over here So the next one is so the count of the particular character over here okay so let me check it out so how many absentees are there in this row so equals to count if in the selected area comma so here also it is seven so suppose if i am going to change any of a p into a so instead of present i am going to mark this person as absent so can we see the result is it going to get changed yes it is getting changed over here okay so this is how you can be able to implement with count if function okay so the next one is the power calculation and this is also very important for you to understand this calculation uh, type because this is also one of the uh, major function we are going to use it in our financial modeling uh, project calculations okay so now here it says that there is a investment is 5000 rupees in the starting of the business that is year zero we are going to have the value as 5000 either you can write the value manually 5000 or 
instead of writing it you can select it equals to and select the value so both can give you the same result so either write it manually or you can be able to connect it with that cell reference value so the next thing is what is the question is so if you are going to invest 5000 rupees on every year you are being expected with 10 percent increment okay so it will be calculated how it can be calculated 5000 plus 10 percent so can anyone try in a generalized calculation wise so what could be the first year value at the end of the first year what could be our amount if it is going to get increased with 10 percent can anyone try i don't want you people to give me the functions but at least on 5000 rupees if it is a 10 percent increment so what would be the value at the end of first year at least 5500 5, 5, very good okay so what could be the second year return of investment so one more year right Sir, is it 6,050? 6,060, yeah. 50, sir. 6,050. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So let's see that whether it is going to give the same answer. And thank you for the uh, people who have been responded. I expect it from all the people. So let me try it. How you can be able to calculate it the investment calculation that is a return of investment to increase it the percentage wise every year so it will be like equals to so what is the value minimum we are going to get back it is going to be our investment so that is five thousand okay plus Whatever the investment we have done, on that we are going to have a minimum of 10% increment. Okay, so is that you people have been understood that? How did we do this? So I'll repeat it once again. It is going to be equals to the minimum what we are going to have it is that previous value the previous year value is going to be minimum on that plus we are going to have a 10 percent on what the actual what value do you have it for that year into 10 percent okay so if I am going to calculate it for the next year, so that it will be equal to the previous year plus the previous year into 10%. So let's see, is it the same answer? Yes, it is 6050 rupees. Okay, because so first year it was a 10% so 10% on the 5000 it was a 500 so it is 5500 the second year it is going to calculate the 10% on 5500 okay so initial amount is 5500 plus 5500 into 10% it is going to be 550 so 5500 plus 550 it was going to be 6050 okay 
so now the same way we will try it for the third year but this time i will not do in that way so i'll do it in a simpler way you can just try to understand this so i'll be selecting it as a common over here okay so now i'll just go with a multiplication and i'll just go open the bracket and make it as one so why i'm doing this calculation i'll just show you when you are going over here and if i press f2 so it is going to show it over here so what is the common thing it is repeated in this cell value what is the common thing it is repeated g20 in sir g20 is common okay so when you have the common thing so for how many times it is there so that much time we are going to multiply it okay so we are going to do that calculation in this equals to the h20 okay i'll just apply this to the g20 only okay so let me try over here so g20 into open the bracket so i'll type it as 1 so g20 into 1 it is going to calculate it as g20 only then plus again i add b use g20 once again so i will use it as 1 1 plus 1 into 10 percent so instead of taking g20 again and again here i am applying it as a formula okay so either i can put it as 1 into 10 percent or i can directly put it as 10 percent also why because already i have been used the multiplication symbol outside the bracket so it is not required you to once again uh, use with the multiplication symbol inside the bracket okay so i can give it g20 into 1 plus 10 percent and close the bracket and press enter so that you will get the same values is that understood with this calculation please type it as yes so that i will move on to the next one if you want once again to be repeated so please type it as repeat yes so understood fine so let me go to the next equals to then can anyone help me out to do the calculation the people who said that they were able to understand so don't think it is an a punishment it is just trying to know that you were able to understand with this so can anyone guide me how to go ahead with a calculation? Yeah, so here I am supposed to select it as H20. Good. Then, so into, open the bracket. One plus. So give it as one plus ten percent close bracket enter. Ten percent and close the bracket and press enter. So you will be able to get the value. Thank you, Ma. So this is how we are going to do the calculation. So
it is not required you to do it again and again the same thing okay it is only for you people to understand i made this three years of calculation in case if you are doing it in the first year the percentage calculation so here also i am supposed to use it the same thing equals to f20 into open the bracket one plus ten percent close the bracket and enter so once i do it only for the first year for the rest of the year i can just select it and press ctrl r or drag it so if you drag it it is going to give the same function or the formula will get applied to all the selected cells okay so this is how we are going to do the calculation of percentage increase of every year okay so by this we are going to end up with the excel functionalities so what you are supposed to have a knowledge on doing the calculations the basic and the advanced related uh, functionalities in uh, excel related to the financial modeling we are not done with the excel completely so we have done only those things which are really required to know the calculation when we are doing with the financial modeling related concept okay fine so hope you people have been understood and if you have understood and there is any kind of questions you can raise it in case if there is no questions you can type it as move on okay thank you for the response part the next thing is we are going to see that A concept called time value of money so now let me have a question for you people so do you people have uh, do people get a pocket money so let us be a little bit uh, interactive in this part of uh, discussion and I want everyone to uh, interact through the uh, chat itself or you can unmute yourself and you can say uh, give me the answer so do you people get the pocket money yes sir okay so is it only one person is going to get So hope the others have been taken time. Okay. Good. Fine, Asha. So why I'm asking this? So if I'm going to say that if you are getting a pocket money of 1000 for today, so if I'm going to give a 1000 rupees for today and say you can take this 1000, but you have one more opportunity that if you wait for one more year i am going to give you 1500 rupees after one year so what will be your choice so either you are going to get the pocket money as of now or not so let me give it from my pocket to you people so whether are you people are ready to take 1000 rupees today or 1500 rupees for future that is after one year so what will be your choice hope people have understood this and at least can uh, you can be able to 
response for this either do you go with today's 1000 rupees or will you go it for 1500 rupees which you are going to get it after one year 1500 rupees 1500 so Noreen says that 1500 so is there anyone says the same or is a thousand rupees is going to be better okay fine so i'll not drag it so now if you be if you are going to wait for a thousand five hundred rupees after one year so is it that are we giving any assurance that you are going to get definitely thousand five hundred rupees and the person who has promised will they keep the promise so one thing that is personally you can have a trust second thing is what you are going to do it with that thousand five hundred rupees what you are going to get it in the future so can you get the same thing for 1000 rupees today itself or will you get it lesser than what you are getting uh, that 1500 rupees worth of so will you get more when you wait for 1500 rupees after one year or will you get the more items or you can spend it on many things when you are going to have 1000 rupees for today okay it might be a confusion uh, statement for you people so let me try to bring it up to you that today if you are going to have a thousand rupees so you can be able to invest on something and you can be able to get that amount what you are supposed to get it after one year so you can be able to invest it on something else which you can be able to get you know after one year a return of two thousand rupees instead of waiting for one more year what you are going to get it for thousand five hundred rupees suppose if you are going to spend it instead of investing if you are going to spend it so today the petrol price it is around 107 rupees what you have it so tomorrow it is going to be happened so within two three days it may raise it to 110 rupees so like this it may go after one year when you are going to see the petrol price it is going to be of 150 let's assume it with a higher price so if it is 150 okay so today what you are going to get it so for 107 rupees so tomorrow you are going to get it for 150 or more than that so you are going to miss that what you are supposed to get it and what you can be able to uh, get it as a return of investment immediately than waiting it for the future so that is what the calculations we are going to do it through time value of money concept so i'll just give you a, a few information so time value of money is a concept that a sum of money is worth more now than the same sum will be at a future date due to its earnings potential in the interim so this is a core principle of finance a sum of money in the hand has greater value uh, than the same sum to be paid in the future and the time value of money is also referred as an present discounted value so whatever the value you have it it is called as a discounted value okay so we are going to do certain calculations by using certain functionalities related to present value future value so let's see that how we can be able to do that calculations. 
so let me go to this so now let me go to this so here the question asks find the maturity value of an fixed deposit invested today of an amount for rupees 1 lakh for 5 years at a rate of 10% so whether is it talking about what you are going to get in the future or what you are going to have it present so is it we have a value of present value or do we have a future value in this statement Please have a look on this and let me know the answer. Can anyone try? I don't want the answer. I just wanted to know that in this statement, whether the value of 1 lakh what it is given, is it of present value? That is a presently we are having a 1 lakh rupee or whether we are going to get a 1 lakh rupee after 5 years with this statement the present value it is present value sir. It is present value. that's very good thank you for the responses fine so here we are going to use certain functionalities we can just have a look over here so you can be able to find it so when you are having a present value so we are not supposed to find out the answer of present value we are supposed to find out the value of future okay so when you have a present value we are going to find it future value when we have a future value we are going to find it out with present value and there is a common factors what you are going to say it in both the things so can anyone try to find it what are the common things you have you are supposed to have it when you are going to find this either future value or present value what are the common things we should have it based on this information what we have it on the screen rate yes so rate means it is a rate of percentage so how much percentage we can be able to expect it either for the future either for the present okay good so rate is common the next thing is n per so n per means it is a number of period the time duration so what is the time duration it is taken to get that rate of value okay the next thing is pmt so pmt it is related to the payment value so as of now please make a note so whenever you are going to find the future value and present value the pmt value you are supposed to keep it as zero okay so as of now please consider the pmt value as zero okay then after that you are supposed to give it as pv in case if you are finding it uh, with the future value you are supposed to give with the present value if you are going to find with the present value you are supposed to give it with future value okay the next one is type so here the type there are two types which we have seen in the previous uh, uh, functionality also when we were trying to find with the vlookup and uh, hlookup so that is type is nothing but true or false so if you want to find any value related to that uh, the criteria whatever you are given so if it uh, if you want with the true value you can type it as one if it is a false value then you can give it as zero that is exactly the value what you wanted so in that case you have to choose it as zero so or 
in case if there is no as a true or false if it is given as certain uh, functionalities it is going to give a type as instead of true or false it may give it as beginning of period bop so you can choose it as one and end of period evop you should select it as zero so beginning of period means do you want that value to be calculated for the beginning of the period itself the starting of the year itself or do you want to calculate it for the end of period always choose with end of period only okay so that means you are supposed to give it the value as zero okay so let's apply all these things and we will see that what will be the results okay so now here as we know that we are supposed to find what fb so we are supposed to give with the fb function so future value the first thing is it is asking for the rate of in, uh, rate of return so that is 10% give it manually comma number of period that is for what period we are expected so the mature value it will be after 5 years so n per it is going to be 5 comma pmt as i said you have to keep it as zero and comma then present value so whenever you are going to give the amount so make sure that whether the amount whatever you are going to enter over here is it going from your pocket or is it coming from uh, outside or it is coming inside your pocket is this one lakh is going out of your pocket or is it coming to your pocket okay so let me put the value as 1 lakh comma it is asking end of the period or beginning of the period so let me choose with end of period that is zero and close the bracket and press enter so now it is showing the value as minus okay why it is showing as minus because we have given the value in the positive value of present value okay so always you should understand that future value or present value whatever you are going to calculate it so you should understand that whether the money has to go from my pocket and then it has to come to my pocket so first you have to invest it that means you are supposed to take your money and you have to invest it that means it has to go from your pocket so for that reason you are supposed to give it so let me give it once again fv rate is 10 percent comma n per is five years comma PMT is zero, comma PV present value. That means it is going out of our pocket. So for that reason, you are supposed to give it in the negative symbol. So when the money is going out of your hand, okay. So you are supposed to give that value in the negative symbol. Then comma zero, close the bracket. 
and press enter so now if it is showing in the positive that means the money which is going to come to my pocket or the money which is going to come to my hand so that it should be in the black in color or it is it should be in the positive number okay so which one should be the right answer is it with the minus value or is it with the plus value plus value yep. yes so try to understand this okay so while doing the calculation itself you should understand that each and every the criteria is what it is going to ask in that function in the function so try to understand that take a time and then you are supposed to enter the values okay so can you help me out in the second one can anyone so is it do we have a future value or do we have a present value over here the 250000 is it a future value or is it a present value we have Future value. Uh, one by one. Future value. It's a future value. Is that everyone agrees with this? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So we have a future value which will mature at rupees two lakh fifty thousand. Then I have to find it present value. So let me put it present value. activated so what is the rate of percentage 12% comma n per so for how many years it is 10 years comma pmt is going to be always as zero comma now future value is going to come that means i am going to receive this amount okay it is coming to my pocket so it should be always the positive value 250000 comma end of period as zero and close the bracket and enter so that means here it says that if you are going to invest 80493 rupees 31 paise so this amount it has to go from you or and every year if you are going to invest this amount then after 10 years you are going to receive this amount sorry it's not every year it is once so once if you are going to pay 80493.31 and if you are going to keep it in the fd after 10 years it is going to get matured with this value at Two lakh fifty thousand with a rate of interest of twelve percent. Okay, so it is once investment. FT, we are going to invest it for the once. So since we are supposed to pay this money, so it is going to show it in negative value. Okay, good. So here the question directly it is given as find the future value. so can anyone tell me how i can find this value can anyone guide me so equals to future value so equals fv open the bracket yeah 10% 10% 5 then 5 then uh, comma 0 comma 0 good then minus 1000 minus 1000 very good comma 0 0 close yes. the bracket 
So I'll be able to get back the money after five years with a rate of interest of 10% at 1610 rupees. Okay, so like this, you can be able to do the calculation for all this. So now there are kind of a calculations what we have it for the particular period wise till now what we were doing it is it was annually calculated okay so let me do this annual calculation equals to so here also we are going to find the future value the percentage is nine percent comma n per is six comma pmt is zero comma minus fifty thousand comma zero close the bracket so that means i'm going to get after six years eighty three thousand eight hundred and fifty five rupees one patient so now it is saying that in case if it is compounded semi annually so that means suppose if you are going to say that you are going to invest this money twice in a year so semi annually means it is like half yearly okay so suppose if you are going to invest it the same 50000 twice in the year so that means the 50,000 once it is invested for six months and again you are going to take back and again you are going to put it so in that case how much do you get it so let's this let us do this calculation so equals to future value open the bracket then rate so it is nine percent but when you are saying it as for semi annually or half yearly so now the percentage what you are set it is for the annually so rate of interest always it is going to be on the annual wise now if you are going to say that for annually it is nine percent then how much it could be for half yearly So what is the period you are going to have it for half yearly so how many what is the duration of half year for one year so how many quarters are there in one year four four so how many half year makes one year two half years two half years right so that is what we are going to yes. do it over here so we are going to divide this rate of interest with two half years okay and comma now it is the period is six years so if it is six years then how many half years can make six years how many half years can make it six years so if it is two half years for one year means for six years it will be six into two six into two okay so please understand this the rate should be divided and the n per period should be multiplied comma pmt is zero comma present value is minus fifty thousand comma zero close the packet and enter so can you see the difference over here
so which could be better fixing the deposit for the one year once or is it half yearly half yearly is better okay yearly. so let's see with the other calculations so can you try with this calculation one so if we the rate is nine percent but we are going to calculate this for quarterly so that means how many quarter makes one year four four so we are supposed to divide divided, our multiply, by. divided by four comma and six years into four comma zero comma minus fifty thousand comma zero so this gives the quarter device returns okay so like this you can be able to do it for other monthly and daily okay i'll share this document to you people so kindly try to find out the answers for this okay so the rest of the things we will continue i think uh, till question number 9 you can try it okay and also you are supposed to practice with a uh, uh, excel part also okay so the next class will be on what day when is our next class uh, sir i think friday yes so we'll meet on friday so by the time you can be able to share in case of any kind of a doubt if you have it in the whatsapp group so we will uh, try to resolve it so if you people are able to understand and if you are able to do it without any doubts i'll be very happy okay so by the next class i want any one person to take initiative to share their screen and do it online okay so thank you all have a wonderful day thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you